welcome to our 9 p.m. edition brought to you live by the RTD. Coming up. President Gil arrived to Kigali for the investiture ceremony of President Kagame. In concerning between the relations of cooperation between Djibouti and Somalia, the Prime Minister received the Somali delegation. Thanks for joining us in our newsroom. The President of the Republic, His Excellency Ismail Omar Gili, arrived today, Thursday, in the middle of the afternoon in Kigali, the capital of Rwanda, where at the invitation of his Rwandan counterpart, he will take part tomorrow, Friday, at the inauguration ceremony of President Paul Kagame to the Supreme Magistrate of this country, friend and brother. Upon his arrival in Rwanda, the President Gili had a right to a warm welcome where he was received by the Rwandan Minister of Trade. François Kenimba, and know that a large delegation, including the Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, Mahmoud Ali Yusuf, accompanies the President of the Republic in the framework of this travel to Kigali. The Ambassador of Djibouti in Ethiopia and with the African Union, Mohamed Deris Farah, is also part of the delegation uh, accompanying the head of state. In addition to the President Gale, 20 other heads of state and government of Africa will take part in the integration ceremony of the Rwandan President. Representative of regional, continental, and international organizations also participate in this event. And during his stay in Kigali, the head of state of Djibouti will stay at the Radisson Palace Hotel, very known for its accommodation of foreign leaders. The Prime Minister Abdul Qadir Kamil Mohammed has received this morning a Somali delegation led by the Minister of Somalia to the telecommunication Abdi Ashurasan. The delegation has been introduced to the Prime Minister by the Minister of Communication Mr. Abdi Yusuf Suge attended this meeting. The Ambassador of Djibouti in Somalia Mr. Aden and the Director General of Djibouti Telecom Mohammed Asoui Boha. Discussions were focused on the relations of friendship and cooperation that maintained the two countries for a long time, and especially on their partnership in the field of the new technologies of information and communication. The, the Somali Minister of the Telecommunication, Hassan Ashur, has thanked the Prime Minister for his warm welcome and expressed his joy to be in Djibouti. He indicated the reason for his travel, which aimed to strengthen the cooperation between the two countries in the field of uh, pulse and telecommunication. He said that he was impressed by the potential available in Djibouti in the area of telecommunications. On its side, the Prime Minister has stressed the importance of the new technologies in both the emergence of activities that in the creation of jobs. He has also raised the problem of cybercrime, the use of the net for the recruitment of extremists of any age. The Prime Minister has also referred to the commitment of the Republic of Djibouti in the training of the defense and security forces in Somalia and the participation of the army forces of Djibouti within the AMISOM. And also, uh, this morning, the Minister of Communication responsible for Postal and Telecommunication, Abdi Yusuf Suge, has met with the delegation of the Federal Republic of Somalia, led by the Minister of Somalia to the Communication, Hassan Ashur. The discussions were uh, mainly focused on the cooperation in the field of telecommunication, and the two delegations have then signed the Convention of Cooperation. This convention has been initiated by the Minister Abdi Yusuf Suge and his Somali counterpart, Hassan Ashur. In speaking for this occasion, the Somali minister has recalled the importance of the relations that exist between the two countries and he has indicated the submarine cable that Djibouti shares with Somalia, which is located in Haramos. He's, he also is used to, he said that he's used to improve telecommunications of the two countries. And for its part, the Minister of Communication, Abdi Yusuf Sugi, has not failed to thank his counterpart of Somalia for his remarks and his visit as much as Mr. Hassan Ashur has codified that the Republic of Djibouti work in all the fields with the Somalia for the improvement of conditions of life of the two peoples. 
In other news of the country, the ambassador of the Republic of Djibouti in Sudan, Ahmed Ali Barre, was received on Tuesday, 15 August 2017, by the Mr. Hamid uh, Mohammed Al Nur Mumtaz, Minister of State of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Sudan, on a working visit in his office. The meeting was conducted in a climate of confidence and has focused on the topics of common interest between the two countries, such as bilateral relations. On its side, the ambassador first presented its congratulations to the minister for the choice that has been focused on his person to occupy this position. Then he has sent a personal message of the minister of Djibouti of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, Mohamed Ali Yusuf to his counterpart and to the Sudanese authorities. The two officials discussed the upcoming political discussion between the ministers of uh, foreign affairs of the two countries rather planned for the 9 and 10 October 2017. They have then referred the forthcoming visit of the Minister of Agriculture of Djibouti at the head of an important delegation and finally they discussed a part of mail from the authority of the civil aviation of Djibouti on the subject of the establishment of a direct line between Djibouti and Khartoum uh, by Air Djibouti. The direction of the National Institute of Public Health has proceeded to the launch of a spraying campaign in the capital. In effect, this large-scale campaign has mobilized important material means and human spread on a total duration of six days in the three municipalities of uh, Djibouti, to know Balbela, Blaus and Razdika. And in the same period, in the end of the fantasy, in particular with the influx growing of travelers in the territory, this uh, preventive campaign finds its justification and responds fully to the efficiency of the prevention action. And during this period, the pickup mounted sprayers will be uh, circulating in all the neighborhoods of the city of Djibouti of Balbala uh, with a view to intensify the entire vectors. The second report on the Convention for the Rights of the Child and the African Charter was presented uh, today by the Department of Justice and the Penitentiary Affairs responsible for human rights. This presentation was made in collaboration with the local UNICEF office in the Hotel Akashia. During this presentation, the officials of the department gave explanations on all the efforts in this area of protection of children's rights. Enin Ali Sabih at the Technique High School has a house the last Thursday, August, a presentation ceremony of professional training certificates. Uh, this training, which had started in January, is completed on 30 uh, April 2017. It should be noted that some of 85 young people have benefited from this training of four months in area of electricity, mechanics, welding, plumbing, uh, masonry, and finally secretaria. Many officials have taken part in this uh, ceremony, including Mohammed Hamad Abbas and Daoud Saeed Geldon, first deputy prefect and vice president of the regional council. The headmaster of the technical school, Vali Sabih, said he was proud to submit uh, these certificates to the participants. He stressed the commitment of the MENFAB to accompany the young uh, school dropouts who have neither a diploma nor qualification to insert them easily in the socioeconomic of the country. In all the news in the African continent, the number of South Sudanese refugees sheltering in Uganda has reached 1 million. The United Nations said Thursday a green milestone for what has become the world's fastest growing refugee crisis. Ugandan officials say they are overwhelmed by the flow of people fleeing South Sudanese civil war and the UN Refugees Agency urges the international community to donate more uh, for humanitarian assistance. An average of 1,800 South Sudanese citizens have been arriving daily in Uganda over the past 12 months. The UNCCR said in a statement, another 1 million or more South Sudanese are sheltering in Sudan, Ethiopia, Kenya, Congo and Central African Republic. The number of people fleeing jumped after daily fighting again uh, erupted in South Sudan's capital Jupa in July 2016. In a fundraising summit hosted by Uga in June, raised, uh, raised only a fraction of the $2 billion that Ugandan officials have said is needed to sufficiently uh, look after the refugees in the communities hosting them. Most of the refugees are women and children fleeing violence, often along ethnic lines, since the world's newest country erupted into violence in December 2013. 
The War of Food Program, WFP, reported the distribution of food for 7,500 people damaged in Sierra Leone by the floods and its landslides occurred on Monday, which left at least 400 fatalities. According to the stories, the distribution of food emphasized for two weeks, which includes rice, legumes, vegetable oil and salt, began prioritizing communities most damaged of rich in sugar, love and mortimy near the capital city of Freetown. The WFP said that the food distribution will reach both the flood victims and the families hosting them. And meanwhile, the European Union announced today and it will provide to provide Sierra Leone with the first emergency aid of 300,000 euros. And EU humanitarian aid commissioner Kisto said that EU is in solidarity with Sierra Leone in these difficult times and also that the emergency aid package includes urgent supplies as water, hygiene items, food and shelter. According to the European Commission, the EU also implemented the Carpenterist Emergency Management Service to offer satellite maps and help to assess the damage. According to coordinator of the International Federation of Red Cross Societies, Abdul Nassir, some 600 people remain missing after the intense rains on August 40th. 14th in Sierra Leone. And to close up this edition with some 600 migrants attempting to cross from Morocco to Spain have been rescued in just 24 hours amid a surge in arrivals on what has become the fastest growing area route to Europe. The Spanish Coast Guard said they, that 593 people had been pulled from 15 rafts on Wednesday, 424 of them in the Egypt Red Strait on N 169 near Alboran, an island outpost the midway between Spain and Morocco. For the two rafts, one of them containing six children were picked up in uh, uh, Gibraltar Strait in the earlier hours of Thursday morning. The number of migrants arriving in Spain by sea has tripled this year. And the International Organization for Migration last week warned that the country could soon overtake Greece as a maritime getaway to Europe. Since the start of 2017, more than 8,000 migrants have used the so-called Western Mediterranean route from Morocco into Spain, compared to 2,500 during the same period last year. The IOM says the migra migrants may be choosing as a safe route amid a crackdown in, the Lib in Libya as the pace of the European Union. That's all for tonight's news. Have a good night.